Yeah. The GOP instead proposes cutting funding for clean energy research, which is great for the Saudis. In a surprisingly candid interview on CNN, Saudi Prince Al-Walid bin Talal stated the Saudis want oil prices to drop just enough to slow down efforts to develop alternative energy. We want the price to be between 70 and 80, not only to help the West, but also to help ourselves. Yes. We don't want the West to go and find alternatives, because clearly the, the higher price oil goes, the more you have incentive to go and find alternatives. At least he's honest. Global emissions of greenhouse gases are actually rising. However, they are now at the highest in history. So says a new report from the U.N. International Energy Agency, warning world leaders that time is running out to reduce global greenhouse gas emissions to stave off the worst effects of climate change. The new report shows that in 2010, global emissions of carbon dioxide began climbing again after the global worldwide recession, reaching the highest levels ever recorded in the modern era. Carbon dioxide is just one of the greenhouse gases emitted by human activity that climate scientists say is causing a dangerous rise in global temperatures and more extreme and intense weather events. We saw a new statistic over the weekend. What was it? A 40 percent rise in carbon dioxide in the atmosphere over just the last century alone? Yes, and the new numbers give new urgency to the first gathering of world mayors on climate change. The C40 group, headed by New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg, is meeting for the first time this week in Brazil to discuss adaptation strategies for cities to prepare for the predicted increase in deadly heat waves, droughts, and floods predicted with climate change. 